Hi everyone! The subject contemporary Philippine arts from the regions have shown us a new appreciation towards the craftsmanship of Filipino art. Through this, we discovered several artists of recognition, especially Agamaba Awardee. But in this video, we're going to talk about Federico Caballero. But before we proceed further into this video, let us assess your level of knowledge about Federico Caballero. Let's have a short quiz. But before we dive into the quiz, let me give you a quick rundown of how things will work. We have five items of questions lined up for you. All you have to do is to pick the letter of the correct answer. You'll have 15 seconds to answer for each question, so be quick. Question number one. Question number two. The letter of the correct answer is C. Question number three. The correct answer is B. Question number four. The letter of the correct answer is A. Question number five. Answer is B. Wow, you did great! Now, let's proceed on our discussion about the Gamaba Awardee, Federico Caballero, so you'll get a better understanding of who he is. In the province of Panay Bukidnon, there lives an artist named Federico Caballero, otherwise known as Nong Pedrin. Born on December 25, 1938, Caballero has been exposed to epic stories from a young age through lullaby sung by their grandmother, Angoy Omil. After his mother and grandmother passed away, he decided to keep the tradition alive by documenting these stories in extinct language related to Kinaraay. He is known for 10 of these documented epics namely Tikum Gadlum, Amburukay, Drikaryong Pada, Balanakon, Kalampay, Pahagunong, Sinagnayan, Madapnon, Nagbuhis, and Alayaw. These stories contain traditions and lessons like Dukaryong Panoy, which talks about the story of how the most beautiful maiden of her time blooms to full maturity but also experiences turmoil or like the epic Amburukay, which tells the story of how Buyong Paiburong's daughters came to be captives of the witch Amburukay and her brother Makabagtin. These epics not only showcase how the people in those areas live, but also teach us life applications and how we interact with our environment. Federico was more than an artist. He was a manuhusay or an arbiter who settled disputes in his area and abantugan for his positive influence extending beyond his community. He also worked with the Bureau of Non-Formal Education to teach people how to read, write, 
to promote the tradition of epic chanting in his area. Indeed, the jack of all trades. Caballero is able to follow any orders. To add on back in 2000 together with Dr. Alicia P. Magus. He helped pioneer the first school for living tradition in the Visayas located in Tapas, Capiz, and Kalino, Iloilo. Truly a man of nobility. He is even married to Lucia who is a binokat, a title similar to a princess in Panaypukitna. Together they have three children. Hindi ka yung pada ang puro ka at tikong kadilom are just a few artworks that Federico Caballero is known for. However, the rich achievement is that he was able to instigate the oral tradition of epic chanting to spreading culture and the arts to his community is what truly makes him deserving of the Gamaba Award. Being able to influence others to embrace our traditions, value culture that defines our identity, appreciating and creating art that reflects our lives and ensure our values. Imagine if all of these achievements were bypassed to us. We must embrace it and treasure it. Federico Caballero was conferred the Gawad sa Manlilikhanang Bayan Award in the year 2000 for his expertise in the Sugidanon or the Epic of Central Panay. And that concludes our discussion through the story of Federico Caballero. We hope you enjoy this discussion and found it good, entertaining, and informative. Before this discussion ends, do not forget these 10 documented epics. We have Tikum Kadlum, Amburukai, Dricarium Pada, Balanakun, Kalampay, Pahagunung, Sinagnayan, Humadap Nun, Nagbuis, and Alayo. Now that we've discussed the life of Federico Caballero, Let's have again a short quiz to know what you have learned in our discussion. There are five questions, and you will choose the letter of the correct answer. You'll have 15 seconds to answer each question. Good luck! Question number one. Letter of the correct answer is C. Question number two. The letter of the correct answer is A. Question number three. The letter of the correct answer is C. Question number four. The letter of the correct answer is B. Question number 5. The letter of the correct answer is A. Congratulations! You have learned a lot in this video. You did a job well done. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. We love hearing from you guys. So if you have any questions, 
comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comments section below. Thank you again for your support. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, always put your heart in your chosen art. Take care and have a fantastic day.